I think let me show you how to do it is my new thing. It's my new thing. Hello everybody, welcome to Break Your New Make. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do this. We are going to adjust and grade up sizing on these cute palazzo pants. Um, somebody requested this, I can't remember who it was. Hi, if you did. But this is a simple pattern, pants pattern that we're going to pattern hat. Let me show you how to do it. Normally you would go to the pattern sizes on the actual pattern, but I don't have that. I just have measurements on the um, pattern piece. So we'll take the information from the pattern piece and use that to help us get our math correct on paper first. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look and see what increments is a size. So for this pattern piece, it looks like two inches is a size. So that means for my hip measurement, which is a 49, we're gonna have to size this up one, two, three times. Let me show you the math on that. So between each size is two inches, right? So this is hip level. It all goes by hip measurement, not by waist measurement as much. So we're starting at a 44. So uh, every two inches, and I wrote it out literally because I, I this is how I have to do it. Um, so I need it to be 50, even though this doesn't give me a lot of ease, but I think that'll be just fine. Well, how do you do that? I'm glad you asked. Let's go ahead and measure each size and see what it is for one size up. A quarter of an inch, which is super easy. Let me show you how that looks going on the crotch pattern, which there's a whole bunch of lines all together and it looks like spaghetti. So here's all of our crotch seams. 44, I cut it off at 44 because there's no more pattern. Each one of these is a quarter inch, so I need to do three quarters of an inch to get my 50 inch. It becomes spaghetti. We're just following the 44 line, which it gets tricky at the crotch, but I believe in you. We'll just fold this out of our way and mark this in a couple spots. Now I can hand draw this crotch back in, or you can use curves. I don't like using curves. I am going to kind of angle this like the crotch is angled. If there's no grading on it, then you can just follow them along. Now this is a little more tricky. This is three eighths of an inch. Three eighths times three, because we need to make it three, three times bigger, is nine eighths. Nine eighths then becomes uh, uh, an inch and an eighth. If you'd like to see this math in action, I'll put it in the description box below. So here's my inch plus one box as an eighth. I'm gonna go down adjusting my ruler as soon as it gets off of the pattern. Um, I will mark my darts. This new pattern then becomes your mock-up. You're gonna cut this out and you're gonna see if it works for you. I know for sure that this dart will not do much for me, um, so I will probably not sew this and I will mark it, pinch my dart out on my body so I can see how it looks rather than sewing it in for the mock-up. I like to do wearable mock-ups. So even though it's a mock-up, it's gonna be like something I could wear, like pajamas. That's it for our pattern manipulation. You'll notice a few things. I started super simple. I'm not gonna do like some fancy, you know, three-piece suit. I'm going to start simple. That way you can get your fingers in it. You can feel what it feels like to do this. And then you could do something more advanced and challenged challenging, not challenged. I wasn't necessarily gonna make these pants, but comment below if you would like to see me make these pants all the way and then I'll show them off to you on Instagram or something like that. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more sustainable DIYs. We'll see you next time. Bye. Elisa, Elise, Elise, Elise.